Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I have on review transcript LOL. It is a tool with which you can repurpose your video content. Basically, you upload your videos or use videos from YouTube, and then it will generate summary, Twitter posts, LinkedIn posts, and even blog posts. We'll see how it works. So what are the features we have? I can see that there is an option to generate quizzes for educational content, newsletters, but anyway, we'll see all of that content. Regarding plans, you have several options, starting from 400 minutes per month, and you can have up to 1,600 minutes monthly. Recently, I reviewed several tools which are similar to Transcript LOL. The first one is Podnotes. It is not available anymore on AppSumo, but it was also generating summaries and other type of text content based on your videos. And as well, recently I did Whisper Transcribe review. So all links to the tools and my reviews you will find in the description. And by the way, please subscribe and give this video a like. So let's go. Here it is, the main dashboard of this tool. Let's transcribe my recent review of Guide Jar. Language, English, Transcript Privacy. We have several options here. It can be publicly accessible, private, or available through link. Let's choose that one. Regarding features to generate, let's select all that we can see. And let's transcribe. All right, it fetched the video. It is not too long, about five minutes. And I can see that the process just started. I will get notified when it is ready. One feature that other similar tools were providing was adding your custom type of content. For example, for Whisper Transcribe, I also saved the prompt to generate YouTube short script. So I don't see custom prompts here, but maybe it is there. We'll check. Okay, I can see it is completed but it is not correct. It says it is about Galaxy S6, so let's delete that. All right, so I have deleted all of my previous transcripts, which were not working, so let's create new transcript. Here is link to another video. Let it be unlisted again and select all of the content. And let's transcribe. Okay, it fetched the video for about 8 minutes. This is another my review of PPO tool, so let's wait. Okay, now we are getting needed content. Let's start with the summary. Okay, nice summary. Topics, not sure where it can be used, but anyway, here it is. Moving next to transcript and just looking through some of its parts, I can see it is correct and in a good quality. Yeah. Some other tools were providing feature to set specific transcription for specific words. For example, here I would like it to be like this. So moving next to chapters. So it is intended to be used as YouTube chapters or Spotify podcast. Those are mostly correct, I think, but I'm not sure how can I edit those. All right, moving next to titles. It is still in progress. Moving to socials. I see example of how it will look like, but again, I cannot see how can I edit that. Moving next to Twitter. Yep, still in progress. Blog post. Too short for a blog post, definitely. Maybe it could be a short LinkedIn post or even long YouTube description with some editing. But anyway, I cannot edit it here. Let's go to the newsletter. It is almost the same as a blog post. So maybe for a newsletter, 
this type of content is fine. Okay, moving next to quotes. Yep, well, actually the quotes are nice, but not sure where you can use those. All right, quizzes. It is nice that it can generate quizzes. We don't need quizzes for review videos, but anyway, you can have those, but again, cannot edit that. And ask ChatGPT. I think this is specifically about this video. Like I've just asked, what is this video about? I can see sources. That's good. When I click here, I probably will get to the, no, it didn't open on the six minute, but I have got the idea. Okay. Let's check some other type of content that was not previously available. Titles. Again, okay too, but I cannot edit that. So we have social step and then I believe Twitter is similar. Yeah, could be a variation of a Twitter thread. What I like here is a preview. All right, so I think that's it. Let's try unlist the content and make it private. Maybe this way I can edit the content. Summary. Now, looks like I can only edit transcript. It could be great to have option to edit other type of content or regenerate that. All right, so let's move to the conclusion. I've also looked through positive reviews because it has a good amount of those. And I saw people praising the transcription functionality. So I think it is the most strong part of this tool. So specifically this part, transcript, you can edit that. It could be nice if you could export that in some subtitles format. But anyway, the accuracy seems to be fine here and you can edit that. So in summary, if you need just a transcription tool, maybe you can consider this one because in my opinion, other parts of this tool, like summary, topics, tweets, blog posts are not in so high quality and maybe the developers will improve this tool. Also for this kind of tool, I think you need to have option to regenerate parts of the content, like regenerate tweets. You need to be able to edit your generated content inside the tool, like edit some titles generated. And also what I saw in other similar tools, it could be nice to have ability to add your custom prompt. So for each video you load, you can get not only tweets and blog posts and predefined type of content, but any content that you can define in a chat GPT prompt. So yeah, I think transcript LOL delivers accurate transcriptions based on my observations. However, other text-based content is not in a very high quality. So as of today, I think the tool needs a bit of uh, development and improvements. All right. Anyway, if you would like to try this tool yourself, the link will be in the description. Please give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.